when should founders collaborate with other founders? I would say always. By coming together, you can have more impact. You develop synergies, even if you're not, you are not necessarily focusing on the same priorities. At the end of the day, you are aiming for the same societal changes. So it's important to come together, even if we decide to form different strands of uh, a think tank's work. Funders should collaborate uh, with other funders when it is expected that the impact of the work on a particular policy issue or a set of policy issues is going to require deep investment, not just uh, on the odd project, uh, but the biggest issues of our time. So for example, on migration, on climate change, on health, on education. And then in some cases there might be such alignment and such an audacious thing you're trying to take on that you really do seek pooled funding. And that was the case of the Think Tank initiative. It was a really important moment in time to send the signal to the world that local knowledge from developing country institutions was critical for policy making. That was an audacious goal that we set as funders and we came together and pooled our resources. And that restricts your ability to make individual grant decisions, but really empowers you to have a, a significant impact over time that you can never have alone. If we want to make an impact at scale, like we want now, we need to be collaborating because development problems are so complex and so huge in developing countries that no single funder really can really help. And uh, the Think Tank Initiative is a very good example of this. What we have achieved together over the last nine to ten years is just phenomenal.